What is up, West Maple Wolves? Mr. Bojano here with a fun medicine ball workout that you can do at home. All right, all you need is a medium sized ball, such as a basketball, a soccer ball, volleyball, a kickball, anything that is about medium size will work best for these workouts. Okay, I'm gonna run you through a quick warm up. So try your best to keep up. It's 15 minutes. You guys can last the whole time. All right. Have some water near you for when you're done, because this is going to be a great workout. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. All right, we're going to start with the ball on the floor. Simply just put it on the ground, and I want you to jog forwards around the ball. Let's go. Quick feet. Jogging around the ball, forwards, moving those arms and those legs. As soon as you start to get a little dizzy, spin, go back to the other leg. All right, good. Now let's go reverse. Back up. Get low. Get low. We're back up. We're back up. Then switch. Back up the other way. Quick feet. Stay close to the ball without moving it. All right. Then I want you to stop. Face the ball. Get low. Knees bent. Good athletic position. Shuffle. Shuffle around the ball. Let's go around two times. And then reverse. Go around the other way. All right. Good. Then we have toe taps. I want you to lightly tap the ball with your toe without moving the ball all over the place, all right? Get those knees up. Try to keep the ball still without touching. All right, nice touch, nice tap. Good. Then let's get to one side and we're gonna do lateral hop. All right, so hop, 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 hop. Tap, 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 tap. You go up and over the ball. Get low, explode over the ball. Good. Then let's get behind the ball. Get into a good squat position. All right. Bend those knees, bottom down. Jump over the ball, land into a squat position, and jump back. All right. Keep doing this. One more. All right. Good. Now, pick up the ball. All right. Hold the ball straight out, feet shoulder width apart. These are called standing Russian twists. Keep your feet planted, engage your core. All right, work your core muscles, your stomach muscles. Squeeze them as you're turning, side to side. Good, now we're gonna pretend like we're chopping down a tree, all right? You're gonna take that ball, bring it up above your head, chop down through your knees, bring it back up, chop down through your knees. More. Now you're in diagonal chop. Turn to one side, chop down one leg, bring it back up, turn to the other, chop down that leg. Nice strong chop. Make sure you got a good grip of the ball. If you're doing this inside, we're not going to be bouncing the ball and driving everybody crazy, all right? So just hang on to that ball. All right, next we have squats. Okay, we're going to do this for 40 seconds. Feet shoulder width apart. Keep that ball straight out. All right, keep your back flat. Okay, make sure your bottom is getting below your knees. Slow down, explode up. Breathe in on your way down, out on your way up. Eighteen seconds. Doing great. Keep it up. Four, three, two, one. All right, next one. You guys are gonna watch for this one for 20 seconds, okay? You're gonna get to a push-up position. So my older kids, I do push-ups. So I want you doing one-handed push-ups. So one on the ball, one on the floor. Okay, my younger ones are gonna switch to shoulder touches. So I'm gonna get low, I'm gonna do a push-up, roll the ball with my other hand, and do a push-up. If you are unable to do push-ups, okay, 
I want you, whatever ball, whatever hand is touching the ball, shoulder touch, roll it over, shoulder touch. All right? It's your call. Whichever one you feel more comfortable doing for 30 seconds. Let's go. Notice I'm keeping my back straight. All right? Back flat. That is the key. Take your time with it. Make sure you get set. Lower down. Slow it up. One more. Good job. All right, next we are going to do, we're going to get to the floor here. Okay? These are called Russian twists. All right, I'm going to bring my heels up. My knees are bent. Okay, I'm going to take the ball. I'm going to turn, look over one shoulder, tap the ball on the floor, bring it over, look over the other shoulder, and tap it. If you want to increase difficulty and make this a little harder, keep your feet off the floor. Alright? Let's go. Russian twist for 30 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Try to keep those legs still. If they're in the air. Control your breathing. Going, you're doing great. 13 seconds. All right, good job. The next one, these are called handoffs. Okay? So everybody pay attention to you. The biggest thing I don't want, I want you doing, or I don't want you doing, is bending any of your knees or elbows. I'm gonna hold the ball up. Bring it straight back, legs are off. Bring my legs up in the air. Hand the ball off to my feet, bring my arms and legs out at the same time, and bring it back. Nice and under control.
a little basketball action here with this, all right? It's a good drill to help prepare you for dribbling through your legs. Okay, from the side view, make sure that I'm lunging out. Knee never crosses my toe. Knee almost in the back, touches the floor. And I want you to push back and explode the back standing up. Two more. All right, good, and rest. All right, what do I got next for you? Actually, you are, this is kind of a rest, all right? Take the ball, bring it up above your head, and then put it behind your neck. I want you to keep your elbows locked and loaded where they are. Okay, you're gonna work on your tricep muscles. It's called a tricep extension. All you do is bring the ball up and slow back down. Explode up, slow back down. All right, we're gonna do some 40 more seconds. Try to keep your elbows in the same position the whole time. Good job. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Take those arms out a little bit. Okay. Now, we're gonna get back to the floor. This is a tricky one, okay? So you can all do it. I'm gonna give you guys some time to rest here while I set up. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna take the ball, put it in between my feet. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze the ball with my feet. Then, I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my imagination here, all right? I want you guys to be creative here. Pretend that you have a steering wheel. You are now the captain of a boat. I want you to tilt back, keep the ball in the air, and I want you to Drive that boat. This is called the medicine boat rock. All right, side to side. Here comes a wave. Gotta move side to side. All right, try to stay balanced. Turn as far as you can, and then turn back. We're gonna do this one until 2.45 left. All right, keep going. Squeeze your abdominal muscles. You got this, keep going. I know this is harder for the younger ones, but this will pay off in the long run. Five seconds, you got this. Keep steering, you gotta get this short. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, my next one, I got two more challenges for you, okay? Actually, you know, we can get down to the same point. This one, I threw you too. This one, you're gonna make it a V with your body, okay? So you're gonna tilt back, bring your legs in the air, Back is kind of on a 45 degree angle. Bring the ball to your chest, elbows out, look up in the air, toss it, catch it with your finger pads, and bring it back. Medicine V tosses. Nice tosses, keep your eye on the ball. You don't need to launch it, okay? And rest. All right, For the, once this gets to 130, all right, I want you to go and find a wall and do a wall sit for 30 seconds. So, pretend there's a wall here. I'm gonna go up to the wall. I'm gonna get down like in, I'm an imaginary chair. My knees are out away from the wall. I'm gonna hold the ball up and I'm gonna do a wall sit against the wall. All right, so you have 10 seconds. You don't need to move the device. Go to a wall and I'll tell you when to get off the wall. All right, everybody start wall sitting right now. If you don't have a wall, you can just do a normal front squat and hold it, all right? You've got 24 seconds left. Hold that wall sit. Hold your arms out straight. Get those knees bent. All right, make sure your bottom's even with your knees. 15 seconds left. You guys got this? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, come off that wall. Come back here for your final challenge. I saved the best for last, all right? This one's gonna be hard here. You are gonna try to do as many push-ups as you can off the ball, all right? So I'm gonna get into a plank position. Two hands on the ball, all right? I'm gonna lower down. 
and push up. If you cannot do any push ups, I want you just to hold a plank. Let's go, you have 35 seconds, then you guys are done. Keep going, finish strong. Breathe in on your way down, out on your way up. Twenty seconds. Reach out your grip if you need it. Thumbs closer help. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and you are done. Woo! I don't know about you, but I'm dripping sweat right now. Hopefully you guys got a good workout out of that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good week.